Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to use BB Press with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. BB Press is forum software from the creators of WordPress. So as far as integration with WordPress goes, you couldn't get a better plugin. There are also a number of extension plugins you can add to enhance BB Press, but even by itself it's very capable forum software. It's also one of the recommended plugins with Avada. Let's take a closer look. The first thing to do is install the plugin, and with Avada this couldn't be easier. Just go to Avada, Plugins, mouse over BB Press and click on Install. This adds the plugin with one click. If you import a demo that includes BB Press, you will be prompted to install it as part of the import. I'm on the eSports demo here, which uses BB Press, so it's already installed, and we can use that as an example. BB Press adds a few things to the WordPress dashboard. Firstly, there is a Settings page under Settings, Forums. This is where you customize the user settings and forum features, and set things like the forum slugs. Then there are three other new dashboard items, Forums, Topics and Replies. If we click on Forums, we see the individual forums that have been set up for this demo. Topics are the individual forum posts, and Replies are replies to the specific topics. There are also a couple of specific BB Press option areas in the theme options. Firstly, you can control the sidebars in your BB Press forums at sidebars BB Press slash Buddy Press. Here you can see that there is a global sidebar activated called Forum Sidebar. Also, further down there is a BB Press option section, which controls the font size and colors of the forum. So let's go and have a look at the main forum page. It's found under the community menu item here. As you can see, it has a welcome message, and then the forums, and there's further content below this. Generally, all forum pages are dynamically generated, but this one is an exception. I'll just edit it to show you. For this demo, a forums page was created to add extra content to the page, including a user register element down the bottom here. Other elements like user login and user lost password will also be useful when setting up a forum. The forums themselves are added to the page via a simple shortcode in a code block element. See the BB Press Codex for a full list of shortcodes if you want to do this sort of thing. OK, I'll just head to the live demo, and if we drill down into a specific forum we can see the list of topics in that forum, and as I'm not logged into this site, I see this alert letting me know I can't create new topics, and under this is a login form. If I go back to my local where I am logged in, we see the Create New Topic dialog instead. Likewise, if we go into an actual topic, I can reply here because I'm logged into the forum. OK, that's about it. Make sure you also check out the Avada forum demo, which was specifically made to showcase the BB Press plugin. It's a really cool demo, and will give you lots of ideas on how to best implement a forum into your own site. Forums are awesome, and with BB Press and Avada they are very easy to set up and implement. They can add a whole new dimension to your web presence, so if you have a website that could benefit from a forum, take a look at this fantastic plugin. OK, this concludes our video on how to use BB Press with Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.